Good morning, and thank you for checking out A Bit Better Yoga. My name is Jen, and I am a certified yoga teacher putting out yoga videos for people like me, a working professional, somebody who's got a lot going on in their life, juggling a lot of different things, career, family, friends, and you want to fit in an idea of wellness and fitness, mindfulness, all the things that yoga can bring, but it's tough, right? So we have to find ways to make our yoga practice work for us to fit into our day. And that's just what we're trying to do here. So if that sounds like something you're into, click the subscribe button below. But more importantly, let's get ready for today's practice. It's a prep for work from home. We're in 2020. We're in the middle of this remote work environment. Most of us are anyway. I am. And it's great to do a practice in the morning, a short practice that just gets our body nice and open, gets us feeling good, gets the blood moving, but also gets our mind right, gets us ready for the day. So that's the goal for today. Why don't we find a comfortable seat, sitting on our shins. Okay, so we're here on our shins, and our knees are directly in line with our ankles, a little bit wider apart to give us some stability. And we'll start with a little movement this morning. So press into those shins and the tops of the feet. Rise up, hips come over the knees as the hands come to the low back. Press the hips forward lightly and lean the head and chest back, opening up. And then sit back on down on the heels. Take the fingertips in front of the knees and just crawl out for a brief little child's pose. Just bow down slightly. And then walk the hands back in towards the knees. And let's do that again. So come up, sit up tall, stand up tall on those shins. Press the hips forward, shoulders down and away as you look up, expand. Sit back on the heels, crawl forward. Finding that expansion in the morning and before you start your day is super important, especially through the fronts of the thighs that are crunched up when we sit all day long. So rise back up, press into the shins, take those hips forward, beautiful chin, gaze to the sky, and then sit back on down. Just gently use the core here to stay stable. Walk the hands forward, feeling that release in the low back and just bow the head. Once you reach a nice bowing position, walk it right back up. Let's do that two more times. So rise up, feel the stretch through the fronts of the thighs. Tailbone is pointing towards the floor. Come right back on down. This is a great thing to just do or be mindful of these types of movements throughout the day. As a lot of what we're gonna do this morning is because it just really counteracts all of the sitting that we do. And then sit back on down to the heels and you can just stay here, take a big breath in, and then exhale as you walk yourself out to a child's pose. And this time we're gonna stay and hang out here. So maybe you wanna take the knees really wide, as wide as the mat, toes touch, and just bow your head down Belly and torso is between the thighs. And rest the forehead on the mat if it touches. If not, no big deal. Just find a nice bowed position where you can feel a release through the low back and the hips. Press the hands into the earth, feel engaged through the arms. And take some nice deep breaths. So while we're here in child's pose, just setting up, finding our breath, think of one goal that you might want, one thing that you might want to get out of practice today. A goal, an intention, a purpose, whatever you choose to call it. Try to hone in on that one thing, and it can be very simple. Maybe you just want to breathe and feel the expansion of your breath. Maybe you just want to get a good stretch in. And maybe, as the title of this video implies, you just want to get in the right headspace to prepare for your day working at home. It's all good. Settle in on that one goal, that one purpose. On your next breath in, just walk yourself back up to that seat. You can pull those knees back in. You want them to be parallel again. 
nice stable base on the shins. We're gonna plant the hands and come forward so that we can sit back with our toes tucked. This is gonna be a great stretch for the bottom of the feet and the toes. It might feel a little uncomfortable. So get as upright as you can here. There's gonna be a lot of pressure on these toes. If this is very uncomfortable for you, you're not alone, you can come back down and untuck those toes, that's okay. But sit up tall wherever you are, shoulders over the hips. And let's clasp our hands together and then push those palms away, rounding the upper back here, tuck the chin. And then maybe inhale as we take the arms overhead and again, finding that wonderful back bend. And then exhale, float the hands down. Two more times just like that. Clasp the hands, press them away, round the upper back. Inhale, open up, look up, hands overhead. And then come upright and float the hands back down. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Clasp the hands, press away. Tuck the chin, round the upper back. Breathe into those toes that might be hurting. <laughs> look up, float the hands down. Nice. So for me, I think it's all my years of continued high heel wearing that causes uh, this to feel so uncomfortable. But if we breathe into that discomfort, we can work through it and get really the aim of this is to stretch the bottoms of those feet and to also dig into the muscles of the toes. So you just sometimes have to sit with a little discomfort and then be happy when it's over. <laughs> so untuck those toes, come on back, sit back on the heels, take a big breath in. And a long breath out. Let's find our downward facing dog. So plant those hands on the mat, tuck the toes again, but don't worry, we're not gonna sit back. We're gonna lift the hips up to the sky. And find your down dog position, a nice V shape with the body. Hips are lifting to the sky. Keep those knees really nice and bent here as the hands press strongly, the palms press strongly into the earth. So the knees are bent, the hips are lifting. We're just starting to feel into those hamstrings. So let's bend strongly into our right knee, straighten the left leg a bit, and then reverse. Bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, keeping those hips high, and just pedal out the feet in this way a couple times, finding your movement, telling those hamstrings it's time to wake up with the rest of us. And keep pressing strongly through the base of the pointer finger and the base of the thumb. Stability in those hands. Wonderful. Settle into your down dog here. Heels are going towards the earth. The knees can still be very bent. Shoulders away from the ears. And then on an inhale, lift that right leg up to the sky. Really reach it up. Bend the right knee and open up the hip, stacking the right hip on top of the left. Press strongly into the right hand so you get a really big stretch through the right side of the body. Breathe here. You can still have that left knee bent. Now square off the hips again and we're gonna step the right foot between the hands. As many steps as you need to get that right foot up between the hands, drop the left knee down, untuck the toes, come up to a low lunge, hands on the front thigh. So let's sink the hips forward here, but engage the core as we do so that we're not just dipping in, we're nice and strong, feeling a stretch through the front of the left thigh. Reach the hands up to the sky, look to those thumbs. And then take the left hand down, right arm reaches up to the sky. Look to the right thumb here, finding a nice twist. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. And again, we're dipping in to that flexibility in the front of our thighs. You should feel this in the front of your left thigh. And then also through the whole side of the left waist, that twist, the right waist. And feeling this openness really prepares us or counteracts all this sitting that we do all day. Tuck the back toes and press into those toes to lift the back knee off of the earth, finding a high lunge twist. From here, dive that right arm down to the inside of the right, right foot and heel toe that right foot out. See if you can't swim both arms up back behind you, find your balance, interlace the hands, 
press those hands away from you and find your humble lunge here. So your hands are clasped behind your low back, reaching away. The right shoulder is coming to the inside of the right knee as you bow forward. Breathe here. Again, feeling the stretch in those hips and now feeling the strength in the legs. Unclasp the hands and slowly with control, rise up, high lunge, reach up, reach tall, frame the right foot, step back, downward facing dog. And again, we can just do a nice pedal out, waking up those hamstrings, just continuing to tell them to stay awake. And then press in through the hands as we lift the left leg up to the sky. Really stretch it up, bend the knee and open up. Stacking the left hip on top of the right, press in through the left hand, feeling a big old stretch through the left side of the body. Find your breath. Square off those hips, prepare to step forward, left foot between the hands, drop the back knee down and untuck the toes, hands to the front thigh. Tuck the tailbone, engage the low abs, and then dip forward. Reach up nice and tall, feel length through the sides of the waist, and then dive that right hand forward, lift the left arm to the sky. Look up to the left thumb. Squeeze the inner thighs together to find some balance here. In yoga as in life, sometimes we have to squeeze everything into the middle, find that core to find our stability, find our strength. And now tuck those back toes, press into the back foot to lift the back knee, find your high lunge twist here. Really press through that back heel as you look up. Dive that left hand down to the inside of the left foot. You can heel toe it out just a bit. And then find your balance on your feet so you can swim those hands back. Clasp your hands, maybe the other pointer fingers on top. And then press the fists away from the low back as we bow down, humble lunge. Gazing straight down at the floor. Really press into those feet to feel strong. Tell your left thigh, thank you for working this morning so hard for me. <laughs> and then engage the core, release the hands, reach up to the sky, look up, high lunge extension. Frame that front foot, step back, downward facing dog. Nice work. Do a little pedal yet again because it feels good. And then shift forward, ripple forward until the shoulders come over the wrists, finding your plank pose. Then we're all gonna lower down to our belly, hugging the elbows in. So just be nice and mindful with it here. Lower down. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come all the way down onto your belly. We're gonna find our Sphinx pose. So the forearms here are parallel to one another, so they're like railroad tracks, and the elbows are under the shoulders. Press the palms into the earth, lift the chest through the arms, as the shoulders come away from the ears. Finding a nice little back bend. Now you can stay here in your Sphinx pose, pressing the hips into the earth, chest coming forward, getting that nice extension. Or you can move with me a little bit. So if you're gonna move with me, let's come on down to our belly. So we can take our hands wider than the mat. So our hands are gonna come pretty wide. I'd say about five, six inches <laughs> wider than the mat is where your fingertips are. We're gonna come up under those fingertips. So make like a little spider, um, spider fingertips. <laughs> Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Look down to the mat. And then find your inhale, come up. Press into the fingertips, rise up. Straightening the arms as much as feels good. Exhale, bend the elbows to the sky, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Maybe each time you come up a little higher, lower down. Inhale, rise up. Press in through the tops of the feet, into the hips, lower down. 
Inhale, rise up, feeling the stretch through the front of the body, pressing the tailbone towards the heels, lower down. One more time, inhale, press into the fingertips, rise up. And exhale, ripple down, lower down. Refind your Sphinx pose, or if you're hanging out there, we're coming, we're meeting you there. Forearms parallel, palms press. Really press those shoulders down and back. Chest comes through. Gaze is forward. Let's just take our right ear to our right shoulder. Feeling a stretch in the neck. Left ear, left shoulder. And bring that head back to center. Take the chin down to the chest. Really let the head feel heavy here. Mm, this is a nice one. <laughs> Good stretch for the back of the neck. And then just take the chin lightly to the sky. Not too much here. We do a lot of this crunching through our cervical spine during the day, so it's not a movement pattern we need to sit with. Bring the head back to neutral. And then just take those hands back so they're underneath the shoulders so you can press yourself back, finding that child's pose. Move slowly here. We're doing a lot of back bending, so when you come back to child's pose, you just wanna be mindful, moving that spine in a different direction. Now here you've got options, like you always do. You can take those knees wide, like maybe you did in the beginning, or you can bring the knees in nice and close and tops of the feet pressing into the earth. Take the hands back by the heels. Maybe they even reach for the heels. And bow the forehead down to the mat. Nice little cocoon position here. Find your breath. Like we did in the beginning, let's think. Think about a goal or an intention. First, just take a moment to think back on what you set for yourself in the beginning of this practice. And now let that go. Let go of how successful you were at returning to that intention, that goal, that purpose. Let go of how often you thought about it or didn't and any judgment attached to how well that worked for you this morning. And start anew. Let's take a moment and set a goal or an intention or a purpose for our day. One, just one. We're not gonna conquer world peace, maybe we will. <laughs> but it can be a very simple goal and intention for the day today. Maybe you're focused on one meeting, one interaction, one email, or maybe you're wrapping up a project and it's just about getting to that finish line. Set your mind's eye on whatever that is for you this morning. As the hips melt to the heels, feel a release through the back of the body. If you have your hands by the heels, swim them up so they're by the ears and you can press yourself back up to that seat, sitting back on the shins. Or actually at this point, if you wanna to come to find a cross-legged seat, whatever seat is comfortable for you, we're gonna settle up practice here. Wherever you are with those legs, sit up nice and tall, shoulders over the hips. I'm gonna take the hands behind our low back like we did in the beginning, we're gonna clasp those hands together. Just nice and light. And then push the hands away from the low back, sit up tall, and take your clasped hands over to the right hip. Of course, if you can't clasp your hands, you can just grab a wrist. You just wanna take those hands to the right hip here. Relax the shoulders down, take that right ear to the right shoulder. Breathe here, feeling a stretch through the top of that left shoulder and the left side of the neck. So it's great sometimes to begin your day, especially when you're working from home and you can have a lot of distractions and a lot of things coming at you. I mean, any work day is like that, right? 
it's great to just hone in on one thing, even if it's small, and maybe that one thing changes throughout the day, but to hone in on one thing and set that as a goal or an intention or a driving force and to check in with yourself as to how you're doing with respect to that one small thing. Because so much of our moving through life has to do with our opinion of ourselves and our inner confidence, that quiet confidence that we have in our ability to do well, move well through life. And confidence oftentimes comes from competence. So if we can set these small intentions and goals, whatever you wanna call them, let's actually take those clasped hands and rotate them over to the left hip. Shoulders away from the ears. And then just find that left ear to the left shoulder getting the opposite side. So confidence through confidence. And if you can focus on small wins throughout the day or small markers to say, okay, I'm on the path I wanna be on today. That can be so powerful for building your sense of competence, your ability to follow through and get things done. And that builds your confidence. And he said sometimes, you now for some of us, we can set out to solve all the world's problems. But for me, it really is about setting these small, measurable, actionable things, especially in times where things feel a little bit off balance, a little off center, a little chaotic. And working from home can often feel that way. Okay, release the hands back down, just undo the clasp, shake those hands out a little bit, shrug the shoulders up by the ears, Take the shoulders down. If you found yourself slouching just a bit in the low back like I did, just sit up nice and tall. Relax the hands on the knees. Take the gaze down to the floor. Find a couple nice deep breaths. You can sit here with your breath, thinking about how you want to move through the day, the goal that you want to set, really settling in on that. You can do that for however long you'd like but we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on with our day, and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Whatever your goal or your intention might bring, whatever your work from home space looks like, I hope you feel a little bit more open through your body and open in the mind and prepared to tackle this day. Have a wonderful one, and I hope to see you on the mat again. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and the notification bell. That way you'll know whenever I put out a new practice. And also follow me on Instagram. Same thing, a bit better yoga. I try to put out things that tie in with what we're doing here on the mat and just keep us motivated and connected throughout the week. All right, have a good one, guys.